How's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about probably one of the most common questions that I get. I always get asked if my kids are on keto. I always kind of have to answer yes and no. Uh, yes, they eat keto food because keto food is just regular food. There's no products that you have to buy to be keto. I cook dinner and it's always keto friendly, but they're not in ketosis because uh, a couple reasons. The main reason is that we can't control what they're eating at school. Even if we decided to go straight and uh, you know, prep their meals when they go to school, we still can keep them from eating candies with their friends or if somebody gives them something that's high on carbs, what's gonna happen is they're gonna be adapted to keto. And so whenever they get candy or ice cream or something like that, it's gonna knock them out. It's just that sugar rush is gonna hit them hard. So that's one of the reasons. Uh, the other reason, I'm not 100% on this one. I'm more like on the fence. I'm 50-50 on it. So we all know sugar is bad. Everybody knows that. It's just not sustainable to be able to eat 150 pounds of sugar, which is the average. Go ahead, go ahead. You're good. So I was saying, it's not healthy. Uh, right now, the average American eats about 150 pounds a year of sugar. It went from four pounds 150 years ago to 150 pounds. However, uh, doing research, I also found out that sugar uh, kind of enhances a growth hormone. So when you look at kids, they're growing, right? So a lot of them can eat basically anything they want. Uh, not all of them, but a lot of them. And they stay skinny because all that glucose or that sugar is being used to generate growth hormone. And that makes them grow and get taller and all that. If once their body stops growing, those that sugar uh, all that energy is being converted into mostly fat so i'm on the fence i know that they shouldn't be eating that much sugar if any uh, especially because fruits nowadays are super sweet like strawberries aren't supposed to be that sweet if you eat wild strawberries they are bitter uh, pineapples used to be this small now they're huge and super sweet if the whole world's eating sugar and my kids are the only ones not eating sugar then they might stay too small i mean my wife is 4 11 and three quarters even though she says she's five feet but she's small i'm not that small i'm 5 10 but um you know if <laughs> it sounds bad saying it but if sugar is going to help them grow a little bit uh, then as long as it's height and not width, then I'm okay with that. The silver lining is that now I know uh, a little bit more of how the metabolism works. And so that if I notice that they start gaining, gaining weight, then I know what to do. So for now, I'm hoping that genetically they're okay, even though I'm not. But if they get lucky, then they shouldn't have a problem. If they don't, then I just monitor it. And if I notice that they start gaining weight, then we'll do something about it. We'll put them on full blown keto or something. And so, yeah, so that's the answer to the question. Are my kids on keto? Yes and no. Yes, they're eating keto friendly foods, but we do add brown rice. You know, we give them sandwiches, we give them macaroni and I guess the answer is no, they're not on keto, but uh, they eat what I eat and I'm on keto and then we add to that. So, okay, so I just wanted to make a short video answering that question. Uh, I know a lot of parents out there when they start the keto diet, they, they don't want to get in, into making two different meals for different people, different family members. Uh, so it's really not that difficult. Just cook keto meal and then add some carbs for whoever's not on keto so instead of lettuce wrap for a burger just add the bun you know like steak and eggs maybe you can add some potatoes on the side i don't know okay i hope i didn't bore you i was trying to keep my voice low because there's weddings going on but if you have any questions you have any comments go ahead and write them down there uh, below uh, please subscribe to this channel if you like my videos uh, also check out my patreon account uh, i just started that as brand new and i also i'm going to include my new t-shirt store 
I decided to make, start making some t-shirts. Hopefully I'm clever enough to come up with some cool designs so that you guys can uh, uh, buy some of my shirts. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you guys on the next one.